Uh, let's students, let's go ahead and now revise the next chapter. The next chapter is classification. What do you mean by classification? Classification means finding out the correct classification, for locating yourself, locating yourself in the custom tariff fact. Right, everyone? Sir, please, can you give us a quick linking? Yes, Baba, take a quick linking. Everyone, listen. Whenever you go ahead and import the goods from outside India, you are required to pay custom duty. Custom duty is equal to value into rate of duty into rate of exchange now if you want to go ahead and find out the correct rate of duty you have to do the correct classification that is meant by classification everyone over here classification means in the custom tariff act you are going ahead and finding out the correct hsn code of your imported or export goods right everyone which goods you are going to export or what are the imported goods for that finding out the correct hsn code now when you go ahead and see the custom tariff act custom tariff act you will have the first schedule first schedule gives you import duty ka rate second schedule gives you the export duty ka rate now custom tariff act when you go ahead and see the schedule you will be able to see five columns over there what are the five columns everyone tariff item is there description of the goods is there then unit is there then you have standard rate of uh, duty and preferential rate of duty sir what do you mean by this units unit means standard unit of quantity it's a unit of measure which is prescribed in the column number three of the first schedule it facilitates collection comparison and analysis of trade statistics unit is ind indicated by abbreviation which is g for grams u for numbers etc now when i go ahead and tell you to classify classification is done by in the custom tariff act going ahead and finding out your correct hsn code the hsn code which is there is an eight digit code which is basically you have to go ahead and find out when you try to go ahead and find out your correct hsn code hsn code ka eight digits may say first two digits are always your chapter the second two digits are always your heading the third two digits are always your subheading and the last two digits are always your tariff item first two digit chapter second two digit heading the next two digit are your subheading and the next two digits are your tariff item right everyone hsn code is basically a standardized name system of name and number which is given by the world custom organization for the traded products which are traded among countries right everyone now when you are going ahead and doing the classification you need two things one is the general rules of interpretation and you need the explanatory notes general rules of interpretation when i go ahead and say there are six rules of interpretation which are there how to go ahead how to go ahead and interpret the custom tariff act now rule number one which is there goes ahead and says the title of the section basically all the chapters which are there 97 chapters are being classified into how many section 21 section so section will have chapters and chapter may you go ahead and find out your correct classification right everyone now over here they are going ahead and telling in rule number one title of the section the name of the section or the chapter ka name or the sub chapter ka name are only for ease of reference they don't have any legal force right everyone when you are going ahead and doing classification for legal purpose please always remember you have to do classification by reading the terms of the heading section or chapter notes because they are legally they have some legal force they are part of the statute are we clear everyone remember for exam rule number one when they are asking you you have to go ahead and say that classification to be done as per the terms of the heading and as per chapter notes and section notes because section notes and chapter notes are part of the statute if you are unable to determine using if you are unable to classify according to rule number one then you have to apply rule number two to five what do you mean by section note and chapter note they are given at the beginning of a section or chapter they are part of the statute and they have legal authority in determining classification of the goods okay sir now if you are not able to determine as per rule number one you have to go ahead and apply rule number two rule number two goes ahead and says classification of incomplete unfinished unassembled or disassembled goods if there is incomplete unfinished unassembled or disassembled goods which are basically in ckd or skd form then they are going in and telling if they are in complete knockdown or semi knockdown condition disassembled or unassembled goods are there which are basically in complete knockdown or semi knockdown condition they are going ahead and telling please go ahead and classify under the heading of complete article an article which is complete complete article ka heading always includes that article which is in at that article even if it is incomplete unfinished unassembled or disassembled the only thing is it should have the essential characteristic of the un complete article it should have the class it should have the general correct uh, essential characteristic of the complete article right everyone always remember section number 
रूल नंबर टू रूल नंबर टू ए गोज एंड सेज एन आर्टिकल ऑलवेज इंक्लूड्स दैट आर्टिकल इनकम्प्लीट अनफिनिश्ड अनअसेंबल्ड और डिसअसेंबल्ड ऑल्सो राइट एवरी वन फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल कार विदाउट सीट इज ऑल्सो कार ओनली बिकॉज इट हैज द एसेंशियल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ कार Dismantled cycle will always have the essential characteristic of cycle, hence to be classified as cycle. Now, if you have rule number two, B goes ahead and says if there is a mixture or combination of material or substances, always go ahead and classify under the main article ka heading. Include always remember classify under main article and heading always include mixture or combination of that material with other material or substances. For an example. If there is a material and that material is being mixed with something else, always remember heading always includes that heading, that item mixed with some other item also. Right, everyone? For an example, coffee ka heading includes coffee and coffee mixed with chicory also. Natural rubber ka heading also, go, rubber ka heading basically will include natural rubber also and might be natural rubber mixed with synthetic rubber also. Milk with vitamins will include, milk will include milk also and milk with vitamins also complex with nuts complex also include complex complex includes complex with nuts also right everyone now sir supposingly i am not going able to classify as per rule number 2 or might be in rule number 2 b one item is classifiable under multiple heading then what to do they are going ahead and telling if one product is classifiable under two or more then you have to go if by applying rule number 2b or by any other reason goods is classifiable under two or more heading then you will always have to remember prefer specific heading over general heading always go ahead and prefer what specific heading over general heading for an example leather bag is always classifiable as bag and not as leather item if there is an electronic trimmer which is there trimmer to be classified as trimmer and not as electronic item always remember one thing note if there is a mixture you have to remember mixtures or composite goods or item in a set mci mixtures or composite goods or item in a set each heading to be treated as equally specific and you have to go ahead and apply what essential character test always remember mixtures or composites apply or item in a set always to be classified under that classification which pro mixture uh, composite or Composite supply or item in a set classify as if it consists of that material or component which gives the essential character test. For an example, if I go ahead and tell you there is a software loaded with so uh, there is a laptop loaded with software, it is to be classified as laptop because laptop gives the essential characteristic. Might be there is a book which has and along with the book one CD has come to be classified as book because book gives the essential characteristic. Now if there is a CD of software. and along with that a manual has come which is a thin book manual then baba it is to be classified as software because software is giving the essential characteristic the next one over here is later the better test if supposingly by applying uh, specific over general or by going ahead and applying essential character test you are not able to classify something or might be you are going ahead and classifying it and you are able to classify it under two or more heading and all are specific so if you are applying specific over general or essential characteristics test and two or more heading and all are specific you are able to classify under two or more heading and all are specific then they are going ahead and telling go ahead classify and whichever classification comes in the numerical order, order last that may classification to be done classification under the last heading in which in the numerical order i gave you the example of mahindra imperio what happens over here this can be used for passenger transportation also and goods transportation also go ahead and classify for an example you classify under 8901 uh, and 8902 whichever both may it is classifiable then you have to go ahead and take the heading which is the later later wala heading is better heading always can i go ahead everyone then comes rule number 4 rule number 4 goes ahead and says a keen rule if supposingly all the other rules are not applicable and an item which you have gone ahead and imported that item ka heading is only not there then they are going ahead and detailing whenever heading is not there that item can be classified under similar goods ka heading that is being told by a keen rule a keen rule says uh, classify under similar goods ka heading now example plastic films for car can be used to be classified it can be classified plastic films for car can be classified under what 
builder wear of plastic shutter the next one over here is rule number 5 rule number 5 goes ahead and talks about packing material packing cases container or material packing cases may always remember if there is camera necklace gun case drawing instrument ka case if they are specifically shaped or fitted to contain specific article or set of article suitable for long term use and presented with the intended article always to be classified with the specific article or set of article right if there is a packing material or container of a kind normally used not general not not a one which is basically uh, for long term use it's a general use wala item then also that packing material to be classified along with the goods classify with the goods now if this rule is not applicable means you have to do separate classification if you have got durable containers which are capable of repetitive use like cylinders gas and cylinder has to be classified separately because cylinders are for repetitive use then containers which gives the whole its essential characteristic for an example you got a gun with a gold case then gold case is to be classified separately and gun is to be classified separately then then there is rule number 6 which goes ahead and says sub classification basically classification of sub rule classification of sub heading sorry classification of heading rule number 1 to 5 we went ahead and understood for classifying heading now if you want to go ahead and classify sub heading what to do they are going ahead and telling please read the name of the sub heading terms of the sub heading then sub heading ka notes you have to read and then apply rule number 1 to 5 mutatis mutandis what is rule number 1 to 5 rule number 1 says please go ahead and apply section notes chapter notes and read the terms of the heading and do the classification rule number 2 went ahead and told article always include that article unfinished an uh, incomplete unassembled or disassembled rule number 2b went ahead and told if there is a mixture of an article then always remember article includes that article mixed with something else also rule number 3 went ahead and told specific over general essential characters test and then later the better rule number 4 went ahead and told again rule rule number 5 went ahead and told packing material packing case etc related and rule number 6 is for sub classification of classification of subheading now over here everyone we went ahead and understood general rules of interpretation now there are some explanatory notes which are there explanatory notes which are there you have to go ahead and understand explanatory notes may they have gone ahead and told when you are reading the tariff when you are reading the custom tariff act you will see dash 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 over there what do you mean by a dash dash means sub classification of the article covered by the heading ka sub classification is denoted by dash dash ka sub classification is denoted by dash dash and further sub classification is denoted by dash 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 or dash 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 right everyone the next one over here is what do you mean by percentage percentage in the explanatory note they have gone ahead and explained percentage means the percentage of the value of the goods under section number 14 and then they have gone ahead and told standard rate will be applicable if preferential rate is unavailable always remember if standard rate if preferential rate is not available then always standard rate will be applicable now there is one more thought which is market or trade balance theory what do you mean by market or trade balance theory if a product is not defined anywhere in the schedule and the section and chapter notes in the custom tariff act it should be classified according to its common understanding in trade by whom dealer or consumer for an example i i will go ahead and tell you dabar dant manjan lal was classified by the company as ayurvedic medicine but if you go ahead and understand as a consumer dabar dant manjan lal according to use a toothpaste and the court went ahead and told when dabar dant manjan lal is not being defined in the custom tariff act what will you go ahead and classify you will go ahead and classify it as per the as the common understanding of the trade suppliers and the customers and their common understanding is it is a toothpaste and not ayurvedic medicine now also the court went ahead and held in case of mcdonalds where mcdonalds went ahead and told cannot place cannot plaza restaurant baba cannot plaza restaurant the served soft serve which is served in mcdonalds is an ice cream and it is not a dairy product in the common understanding soft serve according to customers is what ice cream and it is not a dairy product right everyone so whenever any item is not being defined you have to go ahead and take the common understanding of that item as per the consumers or as per the suppliers who are there can i go ahead as per the common understanding in trade that is meant by trade parallels theory the next one over here is project import they can go ahead and ask you about project import always remember if there is a import which has happened for a new project or expansion of a project which is greater than equal to 25% of the existing project or 
प्रोजेक्ट कैन बी वॉट इंडस्ट्रियल इरिगेशन पावर माइनिंग ऑयल एक्सप्लोरेशन और एनी प्रोजेक्ट विच इज नोटिफाइड बाई सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट नोटिफाइड प्रोजेक्ट आर मेट्रो प्रोजेक्ट मोनोरेल प्रोजेक्ट एयरपोर्ट डेवलपमेंट प्रोजेक्ट एक्सेट्रा नाउ एलिजिबल इम्पोर्ट इन केस ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट इम्पोर्ट आर ऑल मशीन विच आर रिक्वायर्ड यू कैन गो एड एन इम्पोर्ट इंस्ट्रूमेंट अपारेटर्स appliances auxiliary equipment component and raw material required for initial setup or expansion spares can also be imported other raw material and consumables for maintenance of plant and project up to 10% of the value also can be imported now sir what is the treatment of project import all the items which have imported for a project need not be classified under different different heading you can classify under one heading which is 9801 where there will be one rate of basic custom duty 10% social welfare surcharge and igst at the rate of 18% shall be payable right everyone over here we are done with your chapter of classification sir what kind of a chapter it is you can go ahead and take it to be a b graded chapter over here listen everyone they can go ahead and ask you rule number 2 related one question might be rule number 3 related a graded a graded topic this is rule number 2 rule number 3 and that's it in b graded you can go ahead and take in b graded over here this packing material related explanatory notes which are there project import and market or trade parallel theory can be taken as pre graded other than that you can read everything which is there right everyone i have gone ahead and quickly finished over here classification of goods i hope you guys enjoyed the revision we'll go ahead and close our revision on classification of goods over here congratulations